Good evening, baseball fans, and you are tuning in to another edition of Oakland Athletics Baseball as they travel to Wrigley Field, sitting at 82-43 and 43 on the season, first place in the AL West as they take on the Chicago Cubs here in the Windy City, who are sitting at 74-49. and 49. The Athletics lineup is as follows. Second baseman Jose Miguel Fernandez, third base Solarte, center field Pollock, left field Davis, catching as Schwarber, right field Andino, first base Robinson, shortstop Pedroza, and then rounding things out is the pitcher spot. While on the mound for the Cubs is Jeremy Hellickson. He's 12-7 with a 4.01 ERA in 24 games started. The journeyman now ends himself up with the Cubs here in this 2019 campaign as he's going to be facing Jose Miguel Fernandez to start off his day. Fernandez having a pretty darn good season, hitting 282 with a 364 OBP. And the first pitch to him is taken for ball one, misses the bottom half of the strike zone, change up. So count runs 1-1 one, one now. As here comes the pitch from Hellickson. That's going to be clubbed at the center field, and it lands in front of Burns in center. That's going to be a leadoff single for Jose Miguel Fernandez. Throw comes into the cutoff, man. So Fernandez on first to start things off. That brings up a third baseman, Jan Hervis Solarte, who's been a better average hitter against lefties this season, but he's had better power numbers against righties, and he is facing the right-handed Hellickson as the first pitch is in there for ball one, or misses for ball one. Here comes the 1-0 to Solarte. Hey, that's going to be pulled and popped up into right field. Shallow right field as Hayward has camped under it. And he retires it for out number one. So Solarte retired. Fernandez moves back to first base. And that brings up the center fielder and A.J. Pollock, who's been struggling in his last eight games, hitting in exactly 200. And here comes the first pitch to him. Nope. Misses the inside half. 1-0 count to Pollock. Hellickson sets, working from the stretch. The pitch. As Pollock grands at the second, Lestella flips. Russell the first. That's a 4-6-3 inning, ending double play for the Chicago Cubs. As one hit for the A's, no runs here halfway through one. Welcome back to Wrigley Field here in the bottom half of the first. The Cubs lineup is right fielder Hayward, center fielder Burns, first base Rizzo, third base Bryant, left field Solaire, shortstop Russell, catching is the former ace Steven Vogt, and then Tommy Lestella, and then rounded up by the pitcher Hellickson. So Sonny Gray is on the bump for the Athletics, 16 and 7, 2.18 ERA. He is having a lights out season. He's in the running for the, MV for the MVP and the Cy Young in the American League, and he'll be facing Jason Hayward here in the bottom half of the first. So first pitch from Gray. In there for strike one, up and in, fastball 95 on the gun. So if Kent runs 1-2 now. Gray turns, kicks, and fires. That's going to be popped out into shallow left field territory, foul territory. Davis is there, and he puts it away right in front of the Cubs' bullpen. All the relievers on the bench, right where he puts that one away. So one down as that brings up the former athletic in Billy Burns, who was traded before the season with Stephen Vogt for Kyle Schwarber. As Burns is going to take this one into the left center field gap. That'll get up against the Ivy as Pollock fields at the warning track, gets it into the cutoff man, Pedroza. But Billy Burns has himself a double. So a one-out double for Billy Burns against his former team here in his new park. His 32nd double of the season as that brings up Anthony Rizzo. First pitch to him, misses for strike for ball one. So one-out count runs full now at 3-2. Gray working from the stretch, sets and delivers. And he whiffs through the two-seamer. He goes down swinging. Rizzo whiffs, white rip, whiffs right through it. And that's two down now with runner on second base being Burns. And that brings up the always dangerous Chris Bryant. With a 2-1 count on him as Gray works from the stretch. And there goes Burns the third. A late throw over and he's in there with a stolen base. So Billy Burns swipes third, gets himself one base away from home plate. So 2-2 cap now to Bryant, the pitch, and he whiffs through the slider. It does not matter that Burns is on third as he's stranded. So one hit for each team here at the end of one inning, but no runs. 0-0 here at Wrigley.
Welcome back to Wrigley Field here for the top half of the fourth inning as Jan Hervis Solarte digs in to lead things off. First pitch from Hellickson in there, or misses for strike one. Fastball away. So the 1-0 count now as the pitch from Hellickson is going to be lined at the third baseman, Brian, and he snags that for at number one. So Solarte down for the first out of the inning as that brings up the center fielder in A.J. Pollock. The pitch from Hellickson as Pollock got one to drive and you can kiss it goodbye. A.J. Pollock, a solo shot here with one out in the top half of the fourth inning, makes it a 1-0 A's lead on Pollock's 27th home run of the season. Goes a massive 438 feet, a moonshot there for Pollock. And now Tris Davis stands in with a 1-0 lead with a 2-0 count. As here comes the pitch from Hellickson. As that's grabbed at the first baseman, Rizzo, he field steps on the bag himself as Davis has retired for out number two. So 1 0 game, two outs now in the top half of the fourth as Kyle Schwarber digs in against his former team. Like I said, it was traded for Stephen Vogt and Billy Burns before the season started. So here comes the pitch, and that's going to be taken on the outside half. He goes down on the backwards K. But not before the athletic strike for one and a solo shot from A.J. Pollock. So one nothing A's here halfway through four innings. Welcome back to the top half of the eighth inning. It's still one nothing A's as Sean Andino digs in against Jeremy Hellickson, who is still on the mound for the Cubbies. 1-0 count to Andino. Here comes the pitch. As that's taken over the head of the second baseman, Lestella lands in front of Hayward. That's going to be a single for Andino. And Andino is a dangerous stolen base threat. He's up there in the top five, or top ten, correction, in stolen bases in the American League. So Robinson now digs in. As there goes Andino, the pitch out is not in time, despite the pitch out and the throw down from Vote. And Dino is in there safely. So the one-two count now to Robinson. As Hellickson looks down the runner, here comes the pitch. And he can't pull the trigger. Goes down looking on the fastball up and away in there for strike three. So one down now, runner on second being Andino. And that brings up Eric Pedroza. The shortstop is over two on the day. So one out. Hellickson looks down the runner. Here comes the pitch. And he whiffs through it. Pedroza goes down swinging. Hellickson makes quick work of him. So now two down with a runner on second as that brings up Dean Toscano as he's going to be pinch hitting for the pitcher, Sonny Gray. That will end his day. He pitched seven strong. So here comes the pitch from Hellickson. Misses for ball one. So the 2 1 count now to Toscano. Hellickson looks down and Dino. Here it comes. As that's going to be taken down the right field line into the corner. And Dino rounds third, heads home. He'll score these. That's an RBI pinch hit double from Dean Toscano. Huge pinch hit there as he puts an insurance run on the board by driving in and Dino. And it's 2-0 Athletics just like that. And that'll knock Hellickson out of the game. As here comes the left-hander Travis Wood out of the bullpen for the 46th time this season. He's 5-7 with a 4 ERA. Here in 2019, so runner on second being Toscano brings up the leadoff man Jose Miguel Fernandez, lefty on lefty action. Here comes the pitch from Wood, and that's going to be popped up in the infield as Bryant is camped under that over third base side. He retires it for at number three, but not before the athletic strike for one and an RBI double from Dean Toscano. So two nothing A's here halfway through eight here at Wrigley. And here we are in the bottom half of the ninth inning as Tony Watson comes out of the bullpen looking for his 40th save of the season in this 2-1 ball game as the Cubs struck for one in the bottom half of the eighth to make it a one-run game. So here, bottom half of the ninth, Watson facing the heart of the order as Anthony Rizzo leads things off. Digs in with a 1-2 count. And he whiffs through the slider. Watson gets in the go down, swinging. He's retired one down in the bottom of the ninth. Watson, like I said, looking for his 40th save of the season as he's been a great closer 
for this athletics team. So one two count now to Chris Bryant. The pitch whiffed through on the slider. He goes down on a strikeout. So Watson two down, and the final hope is Jorge Soler for the Cubs. First pitch is fouled off the sinker for strike one. Count runs 1-1 one, one now. Soler, here comes the pitch. That's going to be taken over the head of Solarte in the left field for a single. So Soler keeps the game alive. And now a home run would walk it off for the Cubs. So Soler on first base, and that, and he's going to be pinch run for with Albert Almora. And that's going to bring up the shortstop. Addison Russell is 0 for 3, the former athletic. Or the former athletic prospect, I should say. Digs in with a 1-2 count. Watson delivers. And that's going to be popped up to shallow center field. Pollock is camped under it. This should do it, and it does. That is the ball game. The Oakland Athletics come with the victory here at Wrigley Field over the Chicago Cubs by a score of 2-1 as the Athletics will improve to 83-43 and 43 on the season, and the Chicago Cubs will drop to 74-50. and 50. Both teams remaining in first place in their respective divisions, however, but Sonny Gray and the Athletics come out on top here, and that man Sonny Gray gets player of the game honors. He pitched seven innings strong, only gave up three hits, struck out ten, and gave up no walks. He's now 17-7 and seven on the season, continues his Cy Young race. As Tony Watson picks up his 40th save, Jeremy Hellickson is now 12-8. and eight. A.J. Pollock was one for four in the day with a home run, a solo shot. Dean Toscano, pinch hit RBI double, which made it a 2-0 game. Jason Hayward had an RBI for the Cubs in the bottom half of the eighth to make it 2-1, but Tony Watson shut the door of the Cubs' faces. So 2-1 is the final, as that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of Oakland Athletics Baseball. I have been your host, Jersey Bourne, and I'm saying goodbye. in my